Hi, my name is Kerry Vadham and I'm really excited to show you today our brand new FMM Merry Christmas cutter. You can see how we've used the Merry Christmas cutter on our promotion cake. We've also used a number of our other products which work very well together. One of them being the More Than A Bird House which we've made into a gingerbread house. This is also a brand new gingerbread people cutter which we will show you in another video. Our Christmas tree and we've also got some snowflakes here which we've used out of the cool Christmas. The paste we recommend that you use to make your Merry Christmas cut out is modelling paste and you can buy modelling paste or you can make it yourself. It's very simple or easy to do. We use a Tylo powder, it may be called CMC or Gumtrack as well. They all work in the same way. And you add a small amount to your mat. And then we knead the paste in. You can make this up in advance, which is the best thing to do really. You need at least waiting time of 30 minutes or you can make it the night before. If you wanted exact quantities of powder to the paste you would use a quarter of a teaspoon to 250 grams but I usually make it up as I go along. Now you'd wrap that in clean film or put it in an airtight container and you'd leave for at least 30 minutes. Once your modelling paste is ready all you need is a non-stick mat and a non-stick rolling pin and then you need to roll your paste out. It needs to be approximately two millimeters thick. And you just need to make sure it's the right size for the item that you would like to cut out. Now, what I like to do at this stage is once it's large enough is turn it over because that's going to be your very smooth surface and I like to leave mine to sit for a while this means that the paste won't be too sticky and you will get a very nice clean sharp cut from the cutter itself so if you leave it sit 15-20 minutes and then come back to it So your modelling paste is rolled out, it feels a little bit drier, you'll feel a drier top. Place your cutter on top and apply pressure all the way along the cutter. You want to make sure that you go all the way through. I like to slide mine around my mat because although we have a very nice, sharp, clean cut with these cutters, you just make sure that you get no frayed edges and you can also make sure that your paste isn't too thick because you can feel your mat beneath. So I turn it over and I remove the excess. And what you'll need now is your knife and scriber tool to remove the small sections in between the letters. Nice and simple. We've removed all the sections as you can see. So now you have Merry Christmas in one whole piece rather than cutting out all the letters individually. We turn it over and I just use a soft brush to remove it from the cutter. You can tap it onto the surface, but it's quite a large cutout. So to prevent any damage, I just use a soft brush. There you are. You have Merry Christmas. And what I would like to do now is just give it a little while to dry off a bit to make it easier to handle. You can use 
palette knife to help you lift it or you can slide it off your mat and then to stick it to the cake I just use water if you wanted to you could make this as a Merry Christmas that you could stand on top of your cake as well so what you would need is a cylinder and here I have the FMM Dabba Dust so you can do this on a polystyrene dummy which is nice and easy but you don't need one of those you can use anything that's in your cupboard so you would pick up your Merry Christmas nice and gently place it across and leave it dry and once it's dry you could then stand it on top of your cake 